Hi, uh, my name is Tim McIntyre. I've been a drum instructor here at Musicians Institute for a number of years. And uh, today we're going to uh, talk about a metric modulation. We're going to be playing a 16th note funk groove. And so from there, we're going to modulate into a shuffle groove at a different tempo. So the vehicle uh, for this modulation is going to be the dotted eighth note. The dotted eighth note is worth three sixteenth notes. So we're going to use that as the new quarter note tempo. Uh, so we're going from a tempo of uh, 90 beats per minute and it modulates into a shuffle at 120 beats per minute. Okay, the first example uh, that we're going to look at here is um, the basic sticking or grouping. It's uh, right, left, left. Check it out, example 7.1. That was 7.1, and now the next example is 7.2. We're gonna take that same sticking and apply it to the drum set, and the first note is with the cymbal and the bass drum. The second two notes are with the snare drum, so it's right, left, left still. Okay, that was example 7.2. Example 7.3, we're actually going to play the groove and apply the sticking modulation figure uh, in the fourth measure of the groove. Example 7.4, uh, we're going to play the groove for two measures and then uh, superimpose the sticking pattern over a two bar phrase uh, so you get used to hearing that dotted eighth note or the 316th note pattern as it goes over the bar line. Check it out. This is uh, example 7.6. This is the full chart now. So we have six bars of groove in with a 16th note funk pattern. And then we have a modulation uh, measure using the 16th notes, which turns into uh, the triplet. So the 316th note pattern turns into the, the new tempo as a triplet. Again, my name is Tim McIntyre, and I hope you found this lesson useful and find a way to uh, use it in your own playing. Be sure to check out uh, some more of the videos, and uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>